New tonight, a progress report on a small barge that's been hard at work this summer in the St. Mary's River downtown. It's making some needed safety improvements. News Channel 15's Chris Darby reports from downtown near the old fort. As construction continues along the riverfront, something is happening in the water. This will be more and more of a common sight as we go in the years ahead. A small barge going along the river, picking up some tree branches. First thing we're focusing on is removing navigational hazards. The barge is serving multiple purposes, from restoring the flow of the water to making the river safer to travel on. We call those deadheads. That would be a big log that comes floating in, rivers high as the rivers begin to lower. The bottom of that log gets hung up on the bottom of the river and it just stays right in the middle of the river bobbing there that uh, unfortunately a boat could run into. So far this year, with the help of the barge, the Parks Department crew has been able to remove some nine tons of those so-called deadheads. They're also cleaning up some log jams. Not at Bridges, the city is contracting out different crews to do that, but along two miles of the St. Mary's River downtown, getting the water's flow back to normal and stopping erosion. We're very mindful of what we do to not get in the way of Mother Nature because you'll never win. So we work with Mother Nature in analyzing what we remove, what stays, how do we make this the best environment not only for the citizens of Northeast Indiana but also the wildlife. The cleanup is able to be done thanks to that tax increase that included money for riverfront work. But we're not so naive to think that we can completely change the entire uh, rivering system and make improvements on it, but with this stretch downtown, we can make significant improvements to do so. Pointing along the St. Mary's River downtown, Chris Darby, News Channel 15.